today, the world is in crisis. We have an amazing amount of chronic disease happening on the planet, and one of the most potent, widespread pandemics that we're facing is diabetes. There's 246 million people today who suffer from diabetes. It's a major pandemic situation that we have to pay attention to. We are one of the sickest countries in the world. It don't have to be that way. Type 2 diabetes has tripled in the last 10 years. That's a lifestyle disease. That's all about what you're putting into your mouth. We have an unbelievable epidemic of diabetes in this country. The rates of diabetes are skyrocketing, and we have a, a, a parallel to the epidemic of obesity. We have an, the most overweight population ever in the history of the human race, and it's still growing fatter. I believe that the definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over and over and expecting a different result. We have to do something completely different and innovative. About 10 years ago, I went to my cardiologist. I was having a little hypertensive problems. And he goes, hey, you're borderline diabetes. And I heard the word diabetes. No idea how devastating this is to your life. The consequences, I got it. it affects every organ system. And just your vision, your kidneys, uh, sexual dysfunction. The uh, other things with the neuropathy in the feet, uh, my feet slowly became numb one day. Got cold and chilled, so I grabbed a ceramic heater. Forty minutes later, I smell steak cooking. I tried to follow the smell. I looked down at my feet, and my foot, and it was boiling and bubbling and cooking, <laughs> literally cooking. I cooked my foot. And Grandpa cooks that. Then he puts his finger up there, like that. And that hurt. And then I put squeeze it, so the blood comes out. And then I put it on here, and then the numbers come up there. 464. That is bad. Like my doctor told me, my diabetes is out of line. He says, you're going to die. You're killing yourself. And he tell me what I had to do, but I didn't do it. I take nine other pills besides my insulin. No, I try to watch what we eat for him because uh, I buried one I don't want to bury another one right away so of all the things that you take orange juice puts it up there then why do you drink it oh I love it nobody likes to to be defeated especially you know on their own body you know this month, you'll see an incredible transformation of the people moving from eating junk food, pesticided, herbicided food, high animal fat, low fiber, high sugar, and moving towards raw, organic, and put them on a no sugar diet. My name is Dr. Cousins. I've been working in holistic medicine for 35 years, and for me, healing diabetes is actually quite easy. This is not a new thing. Uh, with the approach we use, I want you to know that literally hundreds of people have been healed by type 2. I'm going to share with you in a little bit three cases of type 1 that have also been healed. I saw that what I learned at Columbia Medical School, which is a great medical school, was symptom focus. And even though I was really expert in pharmacology, from my biochemistry background, I saw, wait, there's something not right here. How do we go to a deeper level of healing? And that took me into training people and educating people and ultimately creating the Tree of Life Rejuvenation Center where we could create an all-encompassing environment that people could really get a taste of what it's like to really be healthy. One thing you're going to learn about live food is that's a diet that works the best. And what's the reason? Is when you cook the food, you lose 50% of the protein, 70 to 80% of the vitamins and minerals, and 
close to 100% of the phytonutrients. I'm going to ask everyone to cut your insulin intake by one-third. That's our first focus. So we have to try real hard, and you have to be aware that it's going to move a little fast. Our biggest concern, quite frankly, is people getting insulin shock from getting off insulin so quickly. The diet that works the best is a high-fiber, high-carbohydrate, low-protein, low-fat diet. That's the diet that works the best. become so drug-oriented. You know, we live in a world where we become kind of so pharmaceuticalized that the idea of changing anything just through diet is kind of preposterous, I think, to a lot of people. That, that's, that's almost like old medicine, like, like a witch doctor. The mid-9? Yeah. Yeah, we'll just stop that. Today, you know, the philosophy of most people is better living through chemistry, which, you know, is a you know, modern opportunity, but it also has its price. So now you see the, the drug that's been using for type 2 diabetes for so long that now it's under fire. They're going to put the black box on it that says make heart, heart failure. So my view is start with a natural approach. Maybe you have to go to chemistry, but why not exhaust that possibility so you don't end up having all these side effects that you find out 5 years, 10 years later, 20 years later, where maybe it's too late. Do. See, my aim was normalizing. Hallelujah. That's the uh, well, it's, it's been in quite a while. Isn't that amazing? Okay, 107. Okay, Okay, Perfect. If I could have that for the rest of my life. I was taking 17 different pills a day, plus my insulin, and I'm off of them. I'm not on any of those. You don't have to do this for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days for your life to be able to improve. You just need to take it a step at a time. As they say, baby steps. Take a little baby step and you'll start feeling better, you'll do more, and you'll do more, and you'll do more. In the beginning, just eliminate all things white from your, from your, your diet. Eliminate the sugar, eliminate the white flour. Uh, and uh, if you can't eliminate it totally, cut back tremendously on the dead meat products. Begin to eliminate that kind of thing and begin to add living food. What's happened to you? What's happened to your, let's see, your weight? Wow. You've lost uh, 25 pounds. But Sir, you're not taking anything. I'm not, taking, anything. I'm not taking anything for my high blood pressure, nothing else. And I feel good. Discontinued your insulin. Now this diet that you learned, where was it? Out in Arizona? It's out in Arizona. Wow. Well, I'm impressed. There's going to be a presentation on raw food here in Sarasota. I will find out where it's going to be and call it into you. Okay. Because I plan right. to be there. So I'm going to see if I can be a support person for those who want to learn. Because there's so many people now. All over the country. Right. Everybody. I mean, you can chase them around with medicines and try and get it down. It's you're just chasing your tail off. Uh, the fundamental thing in treating diabetes is what you put in your mouth, what you've learned. And my mm -hmm. God, you look like a different person.